Okay, so not having it back with some uh, Uncharted 2 online multiplayer gameplay. Believe it or not, I just started playing online Uncharted 2. I, I know, I know, I know, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. And I admit, I have been uh, sleeping on this game for a while since the uh, Uncharted 3 beta is now ended. Well, it has ended for a while. I was like, what else? can I do what other games can I use to make videos of uh, while playing online and Uncharted 2 came to mind so I popped that bad boy in the old PS3 and uh, booted it up and here we are this is like my second match I was having some troubles with my game cap device I couldn't um, it wouldn't record my first match my first match was actually pretty good I ended up um, going from level 1 to level 4 which I think is pretty awesome. This game right here isn't that. Look at this kill right here. Oh, he got me, but damn it, I got his ass too. Hell yeah. Um, this game isn't that hard, as long as you know how to uh, play Uncharted. As long as you grasp that concept of Uncharted and in, in the controls and whatnot, in the uh, overall um, basics of the game, then you know you can be pretty good online. The teams are really small, as you can see. The maps are medium size, small to medium size. It's pretty good. This is pretty awesome. I wish, I really wish I had started playing this back then. That way I could, uh, ha I, I could be leveled up more and have uh, more things, more toys to play with. But anyway, I'm gonna keep playing this until Uncharted 3 Beta comes out. I'm not gonna buy any uh, downloadable content for it, I and mean, it's too close for Uncharted 3 for me to be uh, pumping money into this game I actually still need to beat the uh, single player element of this game I'm not far from doing that and I'll be see this what is this right here this confused me I have no idea what happened like, I killed that guy and then I think my teammate killed me I don't know certain things it's certain times in the game where that happens uh, I have to get used to the melee did you see that dude that was a fucking robot that dude is all terminated out how do you get that because I saw that, and I was like, what the hell is that? It scared me for a minute. I was like, well, it didn't scare. I didn't think he was going to kill me in real life, but it, it shocked me. I was like, what is it? That's a robot. Where did we get a robot from? I have to look into that. Like I said, I haven't played online, so I don't know all the tricks of the trade. I don't know how to become terminated out and everything, you know. But I'm going to keep playing this until Uncharted 3 comes out, and then I'm going to switch over to Uncharted 3, and, uh, you know, videos will come from there. One thing I do like about this this game is that they have guns laying around. They have like a foul. I like the foul. The foul is a three round burst, which is pretty good. Um, they have you start. I started off with an AK-47. They have a, uh, a punk ass sniper rifle um, around. I don't know how I did not manage to kill that guy. This is weird. I don't know how he didn't manage to kill me with that grenade. If that was Black Ops, I could have been two miles away from that grenade, and I still would have died. I don't know how I didn't manage to melee him and kill him, but whatever. Um, even though you have times like that in this game, this game is still fun to play. If you haven't played it, pick it up, rent it. I'd rent it. It's too close for Uncharted 3 for you to buy Uncharted 2, you know, unless you're really just... Unless you just got a PS3 and you're like, I want to be a diehard Uncharted fan, then go ahead and buy the first and second one and play through them before the third one comes out. It's possible. You can really do that if you really put some time and effort into the games. The games aren't really, I don't think they're that long, but, you know. Um, but, yeah, if you haven't played this online, play it online. If you look at the Terminator, dude, look at him. Hell, yeah. If you haven't... Uh, what was I saying? Yeah, uh, I'd rent it. I'd rent it. Just rent it just so you can get a feel of it. Um, just, you know, check it out. I think you'll have a, a lot of fun with it online. This is a, actually, a, you know, it's like a mix between a third-person shooter and a platformer. Um, speaking of third-person shooters, I, I made a video this past weekend of SOCOM 4, and I didn't get a chance to upload it. I'm not sure whether I will. I'm not sure whether I continue to play SOCOM 4. I know a couple of my clansmates do. They really like it. I played it, and it's like, um, instead of it being SOCOM 4, it's more like uh, Spawn Trap 4. You got the static spawns, 
and people just you know loiter around your spawn and and it's just weird it's the game is really unbalanced man because you can lay into somebody and they can shoot you one time and then all of a sudden you're dead you know it's got balancing issues i i i will give it a honest try at playing it and getting used to it and seeing whether my what i'm what what i experienced this past weekend is a real problem or was it just me that game has a lot of potential. It could be a very fun game. But if it continues, I mean, if that's really how the game was this weekend, how it is now, I mean, how it continues to be, then I don't see myself playing that game because it's just, I, I didn't have those type of problems with uh, Mag, you know. Uh, that was a panic melee. I didn't have those type of problems with Mag. Uh, I don't know whether people thought that sometimes I, I guess the uh, what was that one gun that uh, 45 uh, I can't think of the name it was like a, a submachine gun it was almost like a machine pistol but it was a 45 and people just dominated with that gun and I don't know whether they ever fixed that problem or not but if you did know mag and socom are made by the same company a lot of similarities are in the game, except SOCOM has a single-player mission, uh, mission-based um, storyline, whereas MAG was just online. I really liked MAG. I really enjoyed playing MAG. Even though it was just online, I really liked the idea of having three factions, and you choose your factions. Each faction has its strengths and weaknesses, and you go from there. I really like that, and I hope that they come up with another mag and they further expand on that premise. Maybe add another faction, or you know, maybe add some sort of way that you can defect from your faction. Maybe you know, you let's say you decide you want to defect from your faction. Well, the next game you have to get ten team kills or something. You know, j just to prove your loyalty to your new faction. Um, I don't know. I, I, I really like Mag. SOCOM 4, not so much right now. Like I said, I'm going to play it again. Um, I, I'm going to keep on playing Uncharted 2. This past uh, shoot 'em up weekend went by pretty well. Let's see, we had uh, Call of Duty 4. Uh, what else did I have? Kill Zone 3. And. Ah, oh, fuck. What else did I have? Homefront. I put up a really good home front video. If you haven't seen it, check it out. I did my uh, thoughts on Battlefield 3 and Modern Warfare 3 and and um, basically my thoughts on everything. I think I came up, I, I think I'm going to come out with a new um, with a new series. It's going to be very small before Modern Warfare 3 comes out. I think I'm going to go through and play each uh, Call of Duty that I have. And that's that's Modern Warfare One and Two, Black Ops and World of War. So that's damn near all of them. Um, and I, I'm gonna go through and I'm gonna uh, go. I'm gonna discuss the perks and what perks that I would like to see come back and what perks I would like to to see deleted from Call of Duty, deleted from the universe. Actually, um, I think it's gonna be very entertaining to watch and. I'm going to go through and I'll actually, maybe I should use them. I think I'll go through and use them. Use the perks or just discuss them in general, you know. So I'll do that before the game comes out. Uh, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, this week I have uh, Mass Effect 2 coming up. And let's see, what else? I don't really, I might pick up a new game. I think uh, a game called Shadow Shadow of the Dam or Shadows of the Dam, something like that, is supposed to be really good. Anyway, this game is almost over. Like, comment, subscribe, uh, spread the word. I'm not having it, and I'm out.